This morning, we continue our week-long series, Job Squad. Today's focus, how to find a job if you've been out of the workforce for years. Consumer correspondent Susan Copen is here with today's story. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. Millions of Americans are now deciding to go back to work, and you're about to meet one of them, a mom who is trying to jump back in the game so she can help her family make ends meet. For the past 18 years, Jeannie Mochin has been a stay-at-home mom in Richmond, Virginia. Cream cheese is in the freezer too. When the economy tanked, her husband's business started to dwindle. We've cut back on a lot of things that we used to. I never would have a budget. I'd go to the store, we'd buy whatever we wanted. So Jeannie, with one kid in college and another teenager at home, made the tough decision. Return to the workforce to help make ends meet. I worked when I graduated from college uh, back in the late 80s. Um, stopped when my son was one years old. So I have a 18 year lapse in my resume. Jeannie sells herself short. I mean, she's done a great job around here. She's like, you know, the business manager of the household. Jeannie hopes all of that, plus years of volunteer experience, will help her land a job among the 8 million hourly workers in the U.S. I don't even know how to put together a resume anymore. To help in her mission, we send Jeannie her very own job squad experts in figuring out and helping her land her first job in nearly two decades. Kathy McCarthy, Greg Moyer, Heather Moose, and Cynthia Conway, all experts from snagajob.com. And finally, image consultant and fashionista Katrina Zish. First task, get a plan with Job Squad expert Greg Moyer. We're going to spend probably 15, 20 minutes just kind of talking a little bit about your background, your interests, your skills, your strengths. Working with a flip chart, Greg wrote down her work experience, her strengths, and helped her see where she could fit in today's workplace. So as you think ahead and say, well, what would I most want to do at this point? Based on the experience that you've had, what, what would you lean towards? I'd, I'd probably like to work in an office if, if that was available. If, if not, um, uh, maybe a bank. With a plan in hand, the next stop was job squad experts Cynthia Conway and Heather Moose on the selling yourself to the employer. Pretty much have like two minutes to sell yourself to the employer, and that's what that snag -a job profile is going to do. And selling your past experience. And after being out of the job market for so long, the job squad team hooked her up with Kathy McCarthy to give her a little insight to the interview process. Is it best to be honest? Uh, I think so. Jeannie is optimistic, but knows that there's a lot of competition out there. And we're seeing that our jobs, our, our number of postings are basically flat. Our number of job seekers, though, um, is up almost 100 percent. So how do you stand out? Positive attitude, you can't teach it. Being very focused in what you tell the employer and don't give up. But before the job squad could send Jeannie out on any interviews, there was one last thing that needed to be made over. Her interview suit. It was three sizes too big. Oh, this was my funeral suit. Enter Katrina Zish, an image consultant who stepped in to show Jeannie the looks that employers are looking for. I go for comfort over style. But now you know that for an interview, style is important because creating that first impression is crucial. Zish says a good outfit is one that draws attention to your face. You want people to really be kind of wowed when they see your face. You want that color to give you warmth, to kind of make you look inviting. So with several outfits from Macy's Herald Square and three months of working on back to work strategy, Jeannie is rewired to be rehired. And Jeannie is here with us this morning. How's it going? Is you getting any nibbles yet? I've had several. Yeah. Um, I had uh, one thing I, I learned was was to um, focus on what t sort of job I wanted right off the start. Right. Uh, because I did I did go on an interview for something that I I really was was not interested in doing, mm. and so this has really taught me to right. to focus on what I want to do. What you and really I, really want right, to do. And right. To, to only go on the interviews of the jobs that you're interested mm. in. Mm -hmm. And she has that flexibility. I mean, she's jumping back into the workforce after 18 years, right. so she can be a little picky. Yeah. And you know, and her husband, she said, is the is the main breadwinner. Right. So she's doing you're this for the extra money. Trying to augment the income. Right. 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 I have a son in college and a daughter who'll be uh, in college in a couple years. Yeah. Yeah. So for a couple of years, we'll have two in college. So I just need to come up with. <laughs> <laughs> that 
That's one of those. Some more money. Some more money for the extra. Exactly right, because you just shovel it at them and they just consume it all. Uh, What was the hardest part about going back after all these years? I was just thinking about, I'm not sure I would even know how to write a resume. No, I didn't know how to do anything. You know, my resume (laughs) skills were obsolete. Um, I worked at a computer company before and they still had mainframes and punch cards. Punch cards, (laughs) you know, so, well, not quite punch cards, but close. (laughs) Right, yeah. Uh, Most of my computer skills were out of date. Ancient, sure. Ancient. And she also has the, you know, on her resume, okay, what is this 18 year gap? Right. You know, the last time you were employed was 18 years ago. But she's been working, working at home with the kids and raising them. But all this polishing up, do you find that it's been valuable and sort of being able to really, really focus? Everybody, yes, everybody has been so helpful. And the one thing that, that, they they told me it was the most important thing was to get some self confidence, mm. and and that is the one thing yeah. that you really have to do. You got to believe in yourself. That's right. right. And her you got to sell look? yourself. Looks, looks yes. good. <laughs> looks good. All right. Uh, well, good luck to you, and we'll keep posted. We'll keep us posted on how it's going. All right. Thank you. Terrific. 